Am I gonna make this? Oh, plenty of time. Uh, I've never been stuck up there before. That's a new one. No, why, why are you going that way? Um, to end the game, I gotta think about it. You need to do, you could do, um, if you're trying to do as few as possible, right? I guess you could technically do one, two. You could do Rikard and... Rikard and Radon. Then Morgoth, Godfrey, Fire Giant. Um, hang on. One, two, three, four, five. Then Gods can duo Malekith, seven, probably ten. So, less than 20%. 10 out of 165. It's actually kind of nuts that you only need 10. I guess probably less than Bloodborne. And Bloodborne is a short game. Yeah, well, they give you the option, right? You only need two uh, great runes to get into Langdell. And you can skip to Rikard. Actually, okay, that's a, that's a lie. You have to do, uh, unless you do the Gunskin Noble Skip, you have to do, uh, that. So you have to do, you have to do at least three, I think. I don't think there's any way to not do three. So it'd be 11. But yeah, it's pretty wild in a game with this many bosses, you know? That's assuming no glitches or anything, too. Like, if you do if you do glitches or... Again, I'd count the Noble Skip as a glitch, even though... Technically, it's just, like... The environment... Like, because the environment is the way it is, like, you can... Skip him. They might have patched that for all I know with the latest patch, but... Yeah, you have to do either... You have to do either... So Radon's his own thing, right? But you either... If you did Radon, you either have to do Red Wolf and Renala, or Margit and Godric, or Gonska Noble and Rikard. One of those combinations to get to Langdell. And then once you get to Langdell, you need to do two there... And then Fire Giant, Gonskin Duo, uh, Malakath, and then the final three. I generally don't do him either. I have nothing against him. I just, you know, I don't do him. Yeah, dude, I, I would be tempted at least in not in the, the all bosses portion of this but the the new game any percent before this i would love to skip them because i hate that fight oh, welcome dear customer yes right this way right this way I don't mind fighting them if my damage is decent, but like if it's not, like a run like this, it's rough. It's like a 10 minute fight, at least. I can't remember. I actually looked at the time. 
uh, in New Game, but I don't remember what it was. And it's the other thing that's annoying too is like you could say put them to sleep but if you have no damage and you're trying to put them to sleep like it 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 works until you can't put them to sleep anymore like i think you can always put them to sleep but like it gets harder and harder the more you do it and if you run out of materials to put them to sleep you're kind of screwed All right, which way do we go? This way, I think? And then this way. I doubt they were going to patch that. The, the, the input reading is just going to be a thing, and we're going to have to get used to it. I mean, I'm, I'm pretty used to it at this point. It's definitely annoying, but, like, the more you do the fight, you kind of learn when you can heal. It's hard to just... You can't just blindly heal. You have to either, like... Like, you can bait out a fireball attack and then just roll it and heal. Or, like... You know, just you have to know what attacks you can heal on, or another thing you can do is just, you know, crouch behind a pillar and heal. But yeah, like if you're trying to do it fast, it's a different ball game with no sleep. Nineties arcade mentality. I mean, they've always had input reading in their games. Oh, is he just gonna fall? What's he doing? I've never seen this. Oh, no, he's fine apparently. It's just like the input reading in this game is a lot more extreme. Finally got a hit on him. This damage sucks. I can't even reach him. Should be in the phase two soon. Like now. No? second. Yeah. 
Yeah, I used to hate this boss, but the more I fight him, the more I like him. But it can be very annoying at first, I think, when you just don't know the moves out. Only Grun variant just changes a lot of stuff too compared to like the normal Falling Star Beast. Yeah, you have to roll that. Sometimes you can run out of it, but like consistently you need to like to not get hit consistently, you need to roll it. Okay, that one you shouldn't get hit by though. I disagree with that. Why did the health bar just, like, go away there? <laughs> it's funny you say the Sanctuary Guardian, uh, comment, because, like, I, I honestly never even thought of Sanctuary Guardian when, uh, fighting this guy, but, like, I, I can see it now. I saw a blazing bull literally just because of that charge. I don't know how similar their movesets are because I can't remember Sanctuary Guardians at all. Actually, that one... That's kind of similar, I guess. He has, like, the little attack where he tries to hit you with his head. Almost there. This is a good attack. Oh, or not. He just ended it. At the end of, like, two or three of those, he'll just start shooting lasers out of his eyes, and it gives you, like, a good window to punish, but he didn't do that. This is bad. Oh, my God. I'm right on the outside of it, dude. I am. Let me heal. Couldn't get out in time. It's the phase transition. He usually only does it once because you can kill him before he gets another chance to do it. But my damage sucks, so I can't get another chance. a long fight. I don't know how long it was, but it was uh, pretty long. <laughs> Felt long anyway. I'm not going to get that grace. I don't need it. Actually, I kind of do. I have no heals. <laughs> Never mind. Hello? Thank you. Oh! 
can't even level them. Yeah, seconded. They they are creepy. That is for sure. I think the worst thing is the ones in the Carrier Manor, which are like buried. And if you're not paying attention, you can get grabbed by their uh, fingers that are sticking out. That's not what I thought he was doing. I think he doesn't explode until like 60% health maybe, so almost now, but not quite. Probably no. Bearing Hunter, Draconic Tree Sentinel. Oh, Deathbird, too. Oh, okay, there's like five bosses, then we gotta go back to the Sage's Cave. And we need the Sentry Torch. For the Black Knife Assassin. I wonder how much damage I'm getting from the whatchamacallit thing that I'm using. The blue dancer charm. I don't know how it works. I think it's like a percentage thing. So like the lower the lower your uh equip load, the more damage you get. And it like scales basically with your damage or your equip load. So I could make it better if I took off my armor. I'm gonna take off the helmet just so I can see my glorious face now. I wonder if there's a way to not aggro these dudes. Nothing, because it's not the way you think it is? Yeah. <laughs> real. Hello, sir. Is someone there? A customer? Well. See ya. Nice talking to you. Fast time. I do not like fighting this guy in this house. Like, no space here. Oh, 
Oh, thank you for that stagger, because I probably would have been dead if not for it. Almost so bad. Look like an Oblivion character. I never played Oblivion. I've seen the characters, but I've never I've never played the game. I always meant to, and I was it last year? Last year, I think it was um, probably like the summer. I, I did a full playthrough of Skyrim. And it made me want to play Oblivion. And then I like, I think as I got closer to finishing Skyrim, I was like, hey, you know what? I should play Morrowind before I play Oblivion. And then I started playing Morrowind probably last August. And then I didn't get very far. Well, I, I think I like in terms of story, I got maybe like halfway. But there was a lot I didn't explore. But I kind of just... I don't know. I, I lost interest, I don't think is the right word. I just... I, I don't know. There were other games I was playing at the same time. I've heard the story's really good in Oblivion. It is definitely on the list of games to play. But I kind of want to just... See, I want to... I'm probably going to restart Morrowind. And do what I can with that. Beat it, ideally. Then do Oblivion. Like, I know they're not linked, really, in any way, other than the fact that they're in the same world. Rather play a Fallout games. I'm kind of the other way. I like the Fallout games, but I I love the the fantasy aspect of like Skyrim, Oblivion, Morrowind. But I am a big fan of the Fallout games. I never played uh, 76 though, which I don't know. But I played Fallout 3, 4, and New Vegas. And I'm looking forward to Starfield too. It's like No Man's Sky, but Bethesda. That's it's pretty much what it seems like. I was kind of shocked when they said there were going to be like a thousand planets. I was like, oh my god. Procedural generation! Fallout 2. Yeah, I heard the first two are very different than the rest of them. Just got a phase two, man. Okay, I lied. I, I was wrong. I didn't want you to go to phase two. Too much damage. It's such an interesting switch, too, you know? From turn-based to third-person action RPG. Third, I, I don't know if action art is the... I guess so. I guess would be the right uh, way to say it.
Yeah, I think it'd be fun to go back and play uh, Fallout 1 and 2 at some point. Just to see how different it is. Did Bethesda do 1 and 2, or were they were they involved? Because I thought it was a different company that did those games. And then Bethesda was brought in for the later ones. Well, New Vegas wasn't, but... All 3 and 4 and 76. And maybe Bethesda was like a publisher or something? I don't, I don't remember how it worked. Or the company was bought out. I don't I I remember it like I don't know. I don't know what I remember. I guess I don't remember much. Vegas is, yeah, New Vegas is Obsidian, Bethesda's publisher. Bethesda kind of resent that. Maybe they should make it better then in the future, you know? Especially after 76, like that. I feel like tanked their reputation. I think Fallout 4 kind of, like, made people question, like, you know, why they made it the way they did. But then they made 76 and it was just like, why Bethesda, why? Like everything they did with that game was just a nightmare. Takes money, yeah, exactly. Companies are all about profit. Better not believe me. Stop it. I, I literally can't do anything there. Like, why, why is this a thing? You can't move when you're ensnared. That's why I feel like indie games a lot of the times are some of the best games out there. Because you don't have any, like, just, like, super greedy corporations trying to profit off of doing like the least amount of work possible. Not that there aren't good AAA games. I mean, we're playing Elden Ring. This game is fantastic. This is honestly probably one of the best values you can get for a triple game. Like any of the Souls games, but especially this one, like not from, like, someone who's going to play these games a lot. Like, from a casual perspective, this one just takes a long time to beat compared to the other ones. If you really take your time with it. As nice as that would be, like a game, like a, a game industry ruled by indie devs, right? It just, I think the big corporations, big publishing companies, just have way too much money. Please stop. Stop swinging, sir. Like, 
Like, if you look at a game like Hades, which... Very good game, critically acclaimed. Um... Where am I going now? And then compare it to something like Diablo 4, which comes out... I don't know when, sometime in the next year. Made by Blizzard. I'm sure people are going to love it, but, like, Blizzard has been a PR nightmare for, I don't know, you know, since, what, like, 2020? Where people are just, like, claiming they're going to start boycotting their games, and, like, it's it's still going to sell way more than Hades would. But, yeah, I mean, again, I agree in an ideal world, but... People like money, at the end of the day. Apparently they changed the eyes in the Basilisk, which I never noticed. Oh, nope, 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 nope. Uh-oh. Oh, God. These won't one-shot you anymore, at least, but they are scary. This fight might actually suck. Oh, dude, I have four flasks. Yeah, this is gonna very much suck. Well. We'll give it a try. I forgot to rest. Four flasks. One physic and a dream. Forgot how to roll. Yeah, we're screwed. Honestly, man, if I if I turtle up, if I put the icon shield on, we could do this. But I'm not going to. Alright, give me the other guy. Or or don't. Stab? No. Ah, too close to the other guy. The good thing is the torch attacks insanely fast, so... Oh my god.
was healing. Wow, that was so delayed. I, I'm alive actually. Still a chance. Okay, that one wasn't delayed at all. That was it. Still a chance. So look how delayed that one is. What is this? Oh my god, why would he charge right there? Just kill me. Oh. Yeah, I, I don't know. Is it delayed or is it just me? I thought it was a little... It looked like the, the first one was super delayed. And I tried to go back in early because I thought I had the timing. And then the second one was like, there was like no delay, and then the third one was delay. And then, I don't think he used another one. But yeah, it's a phase two, uh, hammer dude moves out. That lunge just, it goes so much farther than I think it's going to go. I should just always roll it. And maybe you can jump it even. The, the, this guy's even worse with that. The spear hammer thing, whatever it is. I actually don't know. It might be like a great spear. I tried to roll, but I was turning. I like I turned 180, and you can't roll when you do that. That's one of the most annoying things in this game. Just go to phase two, man. Or just stab me. I was trying to get him into phase two, but he just didn't want to didn't want to do the phase change. to toning down the aggression of these guys. I think I was just unlucky. I think they only both get aggressive if you go near both of them. Well, they both seem aggressive to me right now. They're both, like, running.
Yep, infant red. And... Didn't even roll out. Infant red again. I don't even know why I'm trying. I, I gotta be like so much farther away if I want to heal. Nothing? Okay, double stop. Ah, oh, I hate this build. Poison Torch? It wouldn't be, I think. Uh, maybe like a Rot Torch. Poison's not like super amazing in this game. Maybe in the DLC we'll see something, though. I'd rather fight the other guy first in phase two. If I have to pick a phase two to go against first, it would be the other guys, not Ordovis. I gotta heal. Every time I heal, I just get hit. Jesus Christ. Someone's got to go in the up in the air, right? I imagine. Do they know they're in phase two? No? No one. No one knows. They, 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 neither of them know. Ah, okay, he knows. There ain't no big tail swipe attack. Thank you, Ryle. I will do my best. Take it easy, man. Two in a row, huh? I hate that piercing attack, dude. It scares me. 
Yeah, the Dorvis is almost dead. Oh my god, this is chaos. This is absolute chaos. <laughs> It's fine. Oh! That was kind of fun, honestly. Stressful, but... That was fun. Okay, now we get to actually see uh, this Sentry's Torch, too. Let's see. Sentry's Torch, not Reduvia. Wait, oh, I never bought it. Hang on, I gotta go buy it. Forgot to do that. Uh, here. See if it still lags or not. Yeah, this one needs faith for some reason. I, I don't know why. So far, it feels better. Uh, what do we do? Hang on. Oh, okay. I remember we have to still do Lance Axe and, uh... The Black Knife Assassin. And then the other Hero's Grave, and then the last four in... So we'll still have a little bit in Altus tomorrow. But we should be able to get through a good chunk tomorrow as well. Like, I think we'll get... Probably, we'll definitely get, like, somewhere in the snowfield. Where is this cave? I don't, I don't remember where this is. Over here, right? Like, I think the next thing that's going to be a problem is going to be Moog. Which, honestly, isn't super far away. It's, you know, a couple underground bosses. Like, once we finish this, we have a couple underground bosses, then... Actually, Gar but Yeah, Gargoyles might suck, now that I think about it. It's definitely less laggy with this torch, though. That's good. Because, uh... It used to be pretty bad. And having to do a run with this weapon, like the Sentry's Torch, would suck. So we'll just put that on the back. Garrus, Necromancer Garrus. I don't think he heals. He's like one of the few NPC enemies that doesn't heal. Thought I died for a second. You dirty skull spammer. Is that Tibia Summons that he's using? Or is that something else? Family heads. That was a fun weapon. 
I was just surprised by that one, like how much it staggered enemies. I think that comes with having two of them, though. This Black Knife Assassin might be kind of tanky just because of the water. Eh, it doesn't seem that bad. Let's go do Lance Sachs, I guess. I was I was debating whether or not to do Lance Sachs now or uh, start next stream with her, but we'll do it now. I think we'll do at least one attempt. If I die, I will probably just do it next time or like kill her next time. But if we win, I'll do the Black Knife Assassin too, and then we'll start with the sainted hero's grave next time tomorrow don't need that anymore might take it for ordna but Definitely don't need it now. the ram dude okay please stop
think it, you don't get hit by the wave there as long as you like are on the back legs. Almost there. Stop doing this attack. Thank you. That was not that bad. Black Knife Assassin, and then we'll probably call it once we get down to the uh, bottom of this hero's grave. Every time I hit him, there's like this weird. Did they have black blood or something? It's like black something oozing out of them. Which I never noticed. Like those shadow people or something. I mean, they might be for all I know. That's gonna hit me. Really? Yeah, that's bad. I I couldn't get out of that one. Heal animation takes so long. Has like an AOE. You can see like all the ground shake around it, around her slam. I don't know if that's normal though. Like I don't remember that being an AOE. I thought it was just like a not an AOE. Like if you're in front of her, you get hit, but otherwise you're fine. But it feels like it's an AOE. For reason, man. Couple more in Altus, some underground, or, you know, then everything else, pretty much. We're probably through, I don't know, 80 bosses, maybe? I'll have a tally tomorrow. Uh, we could level real quick, too. But yeah, I'm gonna call it here. Ten and a half hours in.